Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Use Video to Get More Leads. My name is Michelle Lettman, and I'm the content and media producer here at Tripwire Local. I am also joined by our webinar ninja, Steve Eslack, who is ready and excited to help answer your questions. Speaking of those questions, you can communicate with us using the question box in the webinar control panel, which is on the right-hand side of your screen. Why don't you go ahead and let us know where you're joining us from today. Um, we will be sending out discussion questions and anything else that you might think or that is important uh, during the webinar today, so be sure to check that out. And also, let us know um, if you can hear us clearly. We want to make sure you guys can hear everything that we're saying today. The Surefire Local Marketing Cloud is the marketing solution that works as hard as you do. What if you could complete all of your marketing tasks from one easy-to-use platform to save time? It makes it simple to control, manage, and optimize your digital marketing all with one secure login. With all of this, you can finally focus your marketing efforts and make getting found online a sure thing. The Surefire Local Marketing Cloud works better because it works harder. Today, one lucky attendee is going to take home a Google Home. We will be announcing the winner at the end. If you don't happen to win one, though, you don't have to go home empty-handed. Everyone here today is eligible to get a Google Chromecast when they complete a digital marketing consult, but I will get more to that later. Today we have Chris Petraco, founder and president of Trusted Photo DC, a boutique media agency in Washington, DC. Chris has over 25 years of experience in content pr production, including television, film, 3D, and virtual reality. He has also dabbled in making 360 narrative films and is always looking for the next hardware, software, or tool that will help solve a problem. I am also joined today by Surefire's Chief Marketing Officer, Shashi Belamkonda, or as he's often referred to around here as the social media swami. Shashi has over 15 years of experience in the digital industry, and with all that spare time he has offline, he also teaches digital marketing at our local Georgetown University. So with that, I am going to pass it on over to Shashi. Thank you very much, Michelle, and thanks everyone for taking the time today to join us on this webinar. And uh, I am very privileged that we have Chris Petraco. Please definitely make sure you ask him about how to get into uh, a how to have a virtual tour added to your Google Map for your business. But first, a couple of questions um, uh, just to get an idea from the audience, and Michelle, help me uh, when people answer, is uh, do you produce your own videos? We just want to get a sense of uh, the audience here. So you can answer A, B, or C, and do you have a YouTube channel? And we would love to see what your YouTube channel link is. So it's a good uh, way for us to get to know each other. Once. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to start answering that. Uh, uh, and uh, just while you're answering that question, I'm just going to ask Chris, like, Chris, in your experience, does every business, small or large business that you deal with, have a YouTube channel today? Does everyone know? <laughs> I, I mean, if you really think about uh, so media today, how many, you know, does every business have a, a Facebook page or a, uh, uh, or, or their website? And, uh, you know, taking video is sort of the next step, so uh, it's a great opportunity to add more content, and we're going to talk today about you know how how a small business can do this uh, uh, either use most likely using the resources they already have and putting their content out there to uh, help increase uh, their visibility online and uh, and get more business. Fantastic! No, these are uh, excellent thoughts. Um, now, uh, you know the cell phones have really developed so much that uh, I was reading a post about one of the thought leaders who said that they are going to give up on their professional cameras. While I don't believe in that, I still feel that when uh, small business owners, marketers are really busy and they don't always have time or sometimes even the budget to be able to choose. I would always prefer, uh, especially because some of our uh, customers at Surefire are remodelers and they create such beautiful things that I'd always prefer that they have a budget to take uh, good quality professional videos and also show the before and after effect. In fact, I was reading, I don't know if you saw the Washington Post this month, uh, Chris, but they have some stories of people who did remodeling and the photographs are really amazing. Uh, but like you said, Chris, we have uh, we have an excellent opportunity today to create our own content. And so Absolutely. today we're going to talk about start off by talking about self-made videos and where it fits, how can you do that, and what can you say? Like when I talk about storytelling and company culture, I don't know maybe if uh, I would be curious if uh, uh, people on the webinar today received an email from us 
which was a quick video that we took uh, asking you to attend the webinar. If you did, would love to know, can you say, yes, I, I did read the email with the video. We just wanted to show an example, like because it was just a message from us, it did not have to be a big production. And there are ways today using um, a little bit of technology, a little bit of creativity, create good videos, especially with testimonials. But if you're going to review a business, you need to take a good quality film with a professional like probably Chris. One important reason, if you're asking a small business, why do you need to spend time creating video, is video for search results. Today, hey, uh, hey Sashi, let me jump yep. in. I, I always like to ask uh, people if they know who, who, what is the second largest search engine in the world? Good question. What is the second largest search engine in the world? We'll give uh, people a couple of seconds to respond to questions. That's a great question. Now, as you are saying this, like uh, I just put in just probably two days ago, how much does a roof replacement cost? And we know because of the Surefire cloud, we can get data, structured data on the type of queries people are using to reach our customers' websites. And these are some of the queries that people do ask because people are worried. Now, if you look at this, this gentleman, George J. Keller and Son, came up in my search result. Uh, again, it depends on location and everything, but I really thought that, wow, this is really great. It's almost a 51 second video that came up in the search. Of course, if you see my search is on the videos, but this gives a surefire, we believe, in recency and proximity. Proximity is you need to target the audience in the areas that you serve. Recency is just like we won't go to a restaurant that hasn't been painted for 10 years. We need to have a website that is constantly updated with good information that people can find when they're searching for this business. Did everybody answer the question, Michelle? Yeah, we got a lot of people that said YouTube. We got one Yahoo answer. Okay. Uh, no, but think, most people uh, said YouTube. Yes, I think uh, is YouTube so, the correct answer, Chris? Yeah, and you sort of you're, you're almost pointing to it with your your arrow here. Uh, but that that's the. the <laughs> You know, it, it's sort of like you know what the answer is going to be here because Google is the number one, uh, the largest search engine, but a, a business of Google's is YouTube, and that the second largest search engine's results are in Google really amplifies how important it is that if you are making these videos, where they're showing up. That's true. And, and I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Uh, but if you look at all these search results, right? Now the keyword or the keyword phrase, and today people are going to use type it in or they're going to probably ask their, uh, say, okay, Google, uh, tell me how much does the roof replacement cost? So uh, look at the results that uh, that came back. According to homeadvisor.com, Oh, that was my Google phone, Google assistant on the phone actually giving me the answer while I just said, <laughs> said the magic word. Right. So it's very important when you upload a video to be able to use the same terms that people are going to search for. And again, that's uh, you know, like customers of Surefire who use our cloud actually get all this data about what people are doing to search for this. But I think that's, uh, that's really key here. Uh, creating videos with pictures. Uh, today it's so easy if you take uh, a couple of pictures like what we are showing on the screen here is actually a GIF that we created using Google Photos, which actually shows, uh, which can be uploaded to one of our client sites to just show the areas that they serve or the number of jobs that they have completed in the last one week. It's just a question of taking those pictures and putting it together. Now we talked about timeline photographs. If you take pictures for seven days, you can actually stitch them together using uh, Flipgram, which is a mobile app that you just take the photos on your mobile device and put it. Uh, at Surefire, we actually use Flipgram for several, like um, turning it into a cool holiday video with the employees, or even a how-to video with, them, with most of our uh, uh, people here saying, oh, what are the 10 things that you should do with marketing? So, and YouTube, also has uh, several ways that you can actually use the YouTube editor to add pictures to that and create a video out of that. So I think you know, today, right now, if everybody on this webinar decided that they wanted to create a video, by the time Chris and I finish talking, your video will probably be ready. And if your camera is one of the new, if your phone is one of the newer ones, you probably have an over 12 megapixel camera. If you take some of the tips that we are going to give you today, Hopefully by 
a weekend. You're going to have videos and hope some of you are going to send it to us. The essential equipment that we did, and we have actually created a lot of videos at Surefire, almost following the same principle where we did not need, uh, where we wanted to do something quickly and we are not to tell a story. And one of them is our culture video, which you'll find in our YouTube video. Uh, simple things like using a mic for sound quality. And Chris, uh, anything come uh, to mind about what kind of mic would you recommend to people? You know, you know, if if you the, the picture you have here, a little lavalier with a uh, a mic jack. Obviously, if you have an iPhone uh, 7, that's not uh, going to work for you. Uh, but um, without a dongle. But um, you know, there's lots of inexpensive microphones. Um, why? I mean, a wired microphones are going to be very inexpensive. Uh, wireless is out there. You know, you can go to Best Buy. They've actually a lot of Best Buys actually have a, a lot of good sort of prosumer uh, tools now uh, that can help mm -hmm. you, um, you know, produce your videos, little tripods like this. So, you know, if you want to try before you buy, even if you're buying, you know, go uh, support some local stores if, if, if folks are selling this stuff and, uh, you know, see what you can build. That's true. And I, I think uh, you you need to have iPod, I'm sorry, you need to have a stand simply because uh, even the best phones, and YouTube takes away the shake which is there, but it's always better to start off uh, good. So these are simple things. And then filming in a well-lighted area, obviously, sometimes the backdrop you should be uh, cautious about. Uh, what we usually say, and mostly people working in companies, is never to use a backdrop where you're seeing somebody's computer screen or you're seeing a, a whiteboard that has a lot of information about the company. But otherwise, I think for our customers, you're taking a roof, you're taking a homeowner's new remodeled one. Maybe you just have the homeowner talk about how the project came up. And these are some equipment that your crew over there uh, can get trained pretty easily to say like, hey, why don't we take a video of a happy customer? That is one use of that. Um, that uh, leads us to the next uh, section that uh, we're going to talk about what kind of videos that you can create when you're doing your own self-production. Interviews and thought leadership. Uh, Michelle actually did a fantastic interview of her CEO to talk about from why people should use Surefire Local. And she's got a tip here. She does a lot of our uh, video production and uh, as you can see, she also hosts a lot of our uh, webinars as well. So interviews, company culture. You can use this not only to get new leads, you can also use it as uh, to get more people to join your team. So talk about what you do, how do you inspire your team and what kind of good work your team is doing. Use the entire team to for holiday messages, you know, sometimes with seasons, sometimes giving tips to people about uh, 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 how, what care they should be taking with each season. And uh, of course, projects with homeowners and tips for consumers. And I can tell you a tip uh, from my end. If you're going to a homeowner and you want to create a video, it might be a good idea to give them a heads up to say like, hey, if you're really happy with that, is it okay if I come bring my uh, stand and take a quick video? Because there was a time, Chris, when I used to go to a lot of these conferences, this is almost like a long time ago, maybe after the iPhone came up. People loved just uh, the live impromptu videos that you would that you could take. But today I think people are more conscious that, hey, you know, I need to really prepare if, if you're taking a video. So it's, it's, it's a good idea to take, um, to give them a heads up if you're taking especially homeowners. And we also recommend getting a release from them. Just yeah. to be, yeah. To be safe. I mean, if, if some, if you're recording this with your phone and, and uh, you know, you've got a, a homeowner there, you know, a, a release is like a whole other step to get them to sign it. If, if if you're if you're okay with them maybe saying after you record it like uh, maybe I don't want to do this or you have it up for a few weeks and they're like uh, we don't like it and you're fine to take it down you didn't invest a lot into doing it you know yeah. the release can don't worry about releases but if you want to be sure that you, you can keep it up you know it's the internet it stays there forever you can get um, and and so I have some simple releases both property releases and um, model releases that maybe we could share with people. Um, but the other thing is for folks uh, in the different industries that you that are on here today, you may have in you you may want to add to your contracts that you have signed something very a very small paragraph saying 
you know, if we ask you uh, for video, you know, sort of have that in your contracts as well. Um, especially if you're taking pictures at a client uh, at your client site, um, and to reuse those pictures over and over again, it might be something if you don't have uh, to talk to uh, the folks that do your legal for you to add to your contracts. No, that's uh, that's a great advice. Thank you. That's why we are so happy you're here, Chris. And uh, one of the tips that Michelle gave is also to play some light music in the background as you do that. And most of the uh, video editing tool, including YouTube, make, uh, makes it easy. But there are a lot of royalty-free sites where you can actually get uh, audio files uh, that you can use without running into any copyright issue. That's true. Yeah, Sashi, uh, remember, uh, when people say royalty-free, royalty don't assume that the music is free to download the first time, though. You may be paying right. for it. There are free and royalty-free websites that... Uh, musicians or folks that just like to write uh, write music will allow you to download and use for no fee. Uh, some, if you're using it, if you're using it like in a, a video blog, they may not charge. But if you're taking this video and using it, say in a video ad that we'll talk about in a lot later, they may have a fee for that type of use. Yeah, great point. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, in, in terms of content, like you could actually interview, for example, one of your marketing manager can interview the owner or can interview one of the skilled craftsmen that you have in your uh, business about just talking about why, what are things that are different, what makes uh, your work better and why people should choose you. And sometimes maybe you're using a completely dust-free kind of project environment that you're doing and uh, yeah, how you take care of everything so that the homeowner doesn't really have to do anything with it. Um, uh, I mean, keeping it very casual, fun, and interested. Uh, I can give you an example of uh, at home in my house, the furnace, Chris said, uh, was not working. You know, the pilot light that comes on. And I'm not a very handy person, so I go and search on Google to say, like, okay, how do I light a furnace? So I come across this really very informative uh, video that tells me how I can how I should do it myself, and I got two messages out of that. Number one is it's a complicated thing, and I should never attempt it, right? And if this business was in the local area, I would have probably called them because they actually problem solved and said like, look, if you want to do it, here's the way to do it. But just we are making it clear that it's something that you need to call a professional for. So I thought that was a very interesting thing. Uh, company culture, like before people give you their money, they're going to investigate and find out more about you. Just like uh, one of our advisors called Mark Richardson says, your customers know more about you than you yourself. What that basically means is before they give you the money, they are going to look at every nook and corner and take in the wisdom of strangers, meaning they're going to look at reviews, they're going to look at all that. So it's important for you to put forth your voice. What does your office look like? What does uh, your crew look like? What does your uh, van branding look like? Uh, what are some of your projects? Are you friendly? They, uh, they like to see the face behind the business. They like to see what you stand for. Sometimes, uh, uh, do you have fun in the company? How do you inspire your company? And again, for all these things, like uh, Michelle says here in her tip, make sure that you have good lighting because people want to see, like it's your image that you're going to put forward. Uh, we discussed a little bit about projects with homeowners. Uh, I, I, Chris, you actually were just uh, with a couple of uh, homeowners, I'm sorry, with a couple of other small businesses what exactly, what kind of video projects were you working on in the last couple of weeks? Well, the, um, we're doing a sort of uh, doing some testimonials um, and also I'm working with a, a modular home builder right now and uh, we're, we're doing some uh, actually more, we're doing a little bit more advanced work. We're doing time lapses of uh, homes being put together uh, but we're interviewing some of their past customer uh, clients that have bought homes uh, for a, uh, a longer series uh, that they'll be releasing over time. Uh, one of the things here, uh, you know, short is important. Um, the other thing in the last slide you talked about good lighting. Uh, one thing I like to mention about, um, you know, if, if you're using the cameras in your mobile phones today, if it's a iPhone 7 or a latest 
Samsung 8 Android device. The cameras are very good. Two things that, that are issues though. One is usually if you're shooting video with your camera, it's everything's automated, right? It's all automatic. Um, mm -hmm. And the second is because of that automation, if you're shooting in low light, the quality can rapidly decrease, uh, especially for video. Uh, still photos, the cameras are getting very good in low light. Plus, you have flashes and things like that. But in low light uh, video, you can start to have a lot of problems, especially if you try to play that video back on anything larger than the mobile phone screen. Uh, if it's on a computer screen with video or it's on a tablet or, uh, as I said, computer screen on the desktop, all of a sudden you'll see a lot of noise in your image that you might not have seen when you were recording it. So be careful um, and, and, and try to get, even if, if you're using, if you're going outside, outside cameras look super. You know, you can get really high quality out of a mobile phone outside. But if you go inside, it's dark. Um, think about lighting. If, you're, uh, if you are in the construction trades, you might have some lights. Turn them all on, you know, your construction lights. Uh, uh, put them on a stand and just light up that room because your image will thank you later for it. Fantastic. No, that's a, that's a great tip. Uh, uh, season and holidays. I think uh, this is where you're going to thank uh, your employees, you're going to thank your customers. It's not only just for the season. Once you upload it on YouTube, people who are going to search for information about your business, they're actually going to come back and look at it and say like, hey, this really seems like a very uh, good business because they not only have messages for us about their products, but they're also showing behind the scenes how they are and that they really care about the experience of the customer. Uh, and uh, you know, like uh, when you you can actually give a lot of tips. Like I told you about that the video that was created that gave me tips about how I can relight my furnace lamp. Right. Um, uh, very often you will find almost every uh, question that you can ask. Especially in my family, people we watch a lot of videos about how to make a certain dish. So we are. Uh, like Chris said, the second largest search engine is YouTube. People are searching on YouTube itself, not really going to Google sometimes. So the more content you have with tips like how you can people can change their roof, what do they need to do to consider a roofing contractor, or how to think about a remodeling, what are the processes that uh, they need to think of for a remodeling business. Very important, uh, I use the term CTA here, which means call to action. Always have a call to action, and the call to action for us, for example, for the webinar is if you'd like to know more about Surefire Local, please send us an email at marketing at surefirelocal.com. So what I just said is a call to action, and it should be very easy for anyone to just add it to the end of it. Like uh, if you use Windows Movie Maker, I'm sure is one thing, but YouTube also lets you have some annotations, meaning you can actually start adding uh, text, you can start helping, uh, incenting people to actually subscribe to your channel. So it's called, uh, and YouTube has the ability to change the thumbnail also in that. Other thing you could talk about is relevant trends. For example, now in the industry people are talking about aging in place, uh, where you know people want to stay in the homes that they are instead of downsizing. And that's an important trend that you can talk about and how your business is, uh, is changing. The other question that we have very often, and if you have any information on that, maybe we can have you on a webinar next, is homeowners are now having to deal with multi-generational, uh, I'm sorry, uh, contractors have to deal with multi-generational homeowners. The baby boomers are still in the market. The Gen X is still in the market. The millennials are now slowly moving into home ownership. These are all different ways that you have to handle them, and that's a problem for a lot of them. If you have cracked the nut, sure, uh, send us an email, marketing at surefirelocal.com and we'd like to c connect with you. But if you want to create your video on how you deal with some of these customers and you know have a different uh, approach for each of these customer groups, I think this video is a good way to do that. Uh, the sales presentation, right? Sometimes a person may just come to your website to understand like, hey, let me, without actually calling them, because one important trend we are seeing on the internet today, people want to self-educate. Earlier, as soon as they thought of a business, boom, got into the yellow pages, found a business near them and called. Today, it's not like that. They want to see, and, and sometimes they are searching for you way past your working hours. 
like they are coming back home and uh, late at night they are thinking, oh, I just promised myself that I'm going to look for a remodeler. When they search and see, and you say like, hey, here's a video of how our sales process works. You're virtually doing a sales presentation and exciting people even without actually being there. And uh, in order to record videos, sometimes you can just use GoToWebinar and almost like how we are going to send you a recording here with that you, we hope you'll send to your other people in the company and also to your friends. You can just use a GoToWebinar for recording. I think, uh, Chris, uh, we've, the team has been thinking about actually showing our faces as we do the webinar. That's right. another, and since it was a video webinar, we should have thought of it before too. Right. Now, uh, the video is a piece of content. Like we said, it's not just in one place that you can post a video. You upload it to YouTube. We actually recommend that you upload it to your Facebook page also as a native video because Facebook video is again becoming a huge. For example, maybe the next time, Chris, you and I are having a webinar, we might even say like, which is the third largest search engine and it might be Facebook video for all you know. Uh, depending on how quickly we have the next webinar with you, right? I, I think yeah, I, you know, Facebook is very is huge, and you can't ignore it at all. Right, and uh, you know, you can take the YouTube link and post it as a blog post because Steve, who's doing uh, who's doing a fantastic job behind the scenes on this webinar, actually takes the presentation. This is probably a Steve's secret that I'm giving away, and posts it on a, on SlideShare, which is now owned by LinkedIn. So if in terms of the web footprint that we have created, we got a video on YouTube of this webinar, we post it on our blog post, we have it as an on-demand webinar for people who want to see it at their leisure, and we post, we send the link to the webinar in an email. So with just one video, we've created five to six places, and I haven't even talked about links that we post on social media. So imagine by just creating one video, you've created eight to 10 ways and I have to put in a plug for our cloud, and you have seen this, Chris, is we can actually help upload through our cloud. You just do it once, and you upload not only on social media, but you upload in like 79 different uh, local directories. So that's really a useful thing of doing it just once and distributing it across. Hey, Chris, uh, you are an expert at virtual tours. Did you do any virtual tours uh, in the last couple of days and tell our uh, uh, webinar attendees today and people who are going to look at it. What exactly is a trusted photographer and how sure. do you get a virtual tour into Google? Uh, so uh, Google has had a, um, everyone's familiar with Google Street View uh, and now the, the service uh, that we used to call Business Photos and we called Google Business View is now just Street View. And what that is, is adding uh, virtual tours uh, to a brick and mortar business. Um, so if, if, if you're a service area business, this doesn't really apply to what you're doing. But uh, for your, your Google business listing that you'd find in Google Maps uh, or Google Search, where you may already have photos, uh, we can add uh, 360 virtual tours that uh, can uh, you know, allow somebody to walk through your business. Um, we do this in all different verticals. Uh, matter of fact, the, the, the modular home builder that we uh, are working with, we did a virtual tour for their office because they have all of the different uh, building materials and finishing materials you know, in their, um, in their uh, uh, office uh, and showroom. So somebody can you know, look at it. We're also adding content to the business listing, which Google likes for local search results. So the more content you have, the more it's updated and refreshed and visited. Uh, all our uh, signals that Google looks at for local listing. Um, but I'm going to take a step back here and say, uh, virtual. What is a virtual tour? My business. We create virtual tours with different tools. We create uh, Street View. We create custom tours. Um, we also are a, a Matterport service partner. Uh, which is a 3D scanner that creates virtual tours. So we do a lot of work with construction um, companies, uh, architects, renovators. Uh, we can do before and afters. We can also, from that service, um, we can give you 3D files that can be used uh, for a construction uh, firm that's building. 
we before you we can scan before you put up the drywall so you have a record instead of taking thousands of photographs you can record your build over time uh, lots of, of neat things you can do uh, to to record but again uh, on the virtual tour site also we do it for marketing purposes uh, with businesses so if anybody has questions about that uh, I'm happy to talk to you we do uh, provide our services around uh, the entire US so if you're on this uh, webinar from California or uh, North Dakota or Texas, uh, we have uh, service partners uh, all over the country. Oh, that's uh, fantastic, Chris. And yeah. in fact, uh, if, uh, if anyone wants Chris's contact information, please send an email to marketing at surefirelocal.com. We'll be more than happy to pass along. When you send the email, please let us know if you'd like to see a demo of our Surefire Cloud 2 and we can have uh, one of our team members give you a demo. But uh, Chris, like, what is the difference between a virtual tour and the photosphere that you can take with your cell phone today? Well, um, uh, a virtual tour, if it's done in the sense that you're able to navigate through a space, um, there's different levels, like we're talking about video at different levels here of quality. Yeah. Um, you can shoot a photosphere with the, uh, there's an app uh, on for iOS and Android from Google uh, that you can spin around and shoot about 20, I think it's 29 photos, and it will get stitched together for a single photosphere. Um, right. We work with, with other camera systems that do that. One is automated and spins in a circle and collects uh, uh, point cloud data. Uh, we work with digital uh, DSLR cameras that create, uh, capture high quality and then we do the stitching ourselves uh, but the biggest difference a lot of times like you see in real estate somebody says oh I have a virtual tour of the house I have for sale those are usually just slideshows so uh, when I talk about virtual tours I'm talking about a tour made of photospheres that is uh, connected uh, a step beyond this is getting into the VR and augmented reality uh, which is mm -hmm. something that we can talk about in the future for a webinar. Um, true VR allows uh, six degrees of movement. Essentially, you can walk around in a room, put on the goggles, walk around. Most people view VR today, uh, they spin around, they can look up, they look down, but they have to engage or click to move forward or backwards. Um, but that's a great selling tool, especially for a renovator to show before and afters as well. You can hold up the... Uh, uh, the VR goggles that you can have a, a potential client put them on and you can show them you know what a space will look like after you're done working on it um, AR is coming down the pike uh, they're expecting in September the new um, iPhones along with the the updates to the Apple operating system uh, will have augmented reality in up to 300 million phones that are out there on the market which is a huge huge opportunity no, that's fantastic. And by the way, team, you heard Chris say that he's signing up for another webinar on VR. Oh, so I let's love doing it immediately. <laughs> no, yeah, thank exactly. you. For, uh, imagine this real quick as, we, as you go into a break here. Holding up uh, an iPad um, at somebody's house and showing them their house in the, through the camera on the, on the iPad and the new roof that will be installed after they hire you. Yeah, that's Why? really fantastic. So, yeah. I, Painting, Absolutely. windows, uh, well, every sir, every trade, augmented reality is going to affect you in some way. That's true. And by the way, I think, uh, Chris, you've spoken a lot, so I think you deserve a water break. What are you thinking of drinking? I am drinking watermelon and cucumber spritzer from Trader Joe's. <laughs> wow. That's I'll, another I'll recommendation. <laughs> it's only 4.30, so yeah, it's, it's straight. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, Thank you guys, that was a great first part. Um, so quickly, we're gonna do a quick poll and we wanna see if you would like our 10 step guide to create and promote your video. Um, be sure to ask for the demo of the Surefire Local Marketing Cloud too because you can easily upload your videos to the platform and they will be sent out to any, like your website, social media, et cetera. Um, also, if you have any of your own videos, I noticed that a few of you guys answered yes, that you do create your own videos in the beginning. Um, if you want to send those to marketing at surefirelocal.com, we will send you a Google Chromecast just for doing that. This is not a drill. This is 
for real, we will send you a Google Chromecast if you send us your videos. We really do want to see them. I think uh, even if they do a demo of a marketing cloud, do you give the Google Chromecast too? Yes, you guys will also get a Chromecast for uh, do, doing a digital marketing consult for the cloud. Fantastic. So they can actually take the video and uh, you know uh, use a TV at the homeowner's place. Right, exactly. Chromecast. Uh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. No, thank you, guys. So, Chris, you ready for uh, dazzling everybody with uh, how they can do some things themselves? I think we're just about there. Hold on one second. It's loading, loading, loading. Why isn't it loading? Oh, okay, so we oh. go. I also wanted to ask people, like, uh, Chris is a very interesting person, and he's in the D.C. area just where we are located. We are in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. And uh, he's a busy person, so uh, we're really happy that we have him here on the uh, on the webinar today. And if you have any questions, I think you should actually put them on um, uh, into the chat box, and uh, Michelle will make sure that both of us answer every question of yours. Obviously, uh, if you have a colleague who has not been able to attend, uh, please send us an email at marketing at surefirelocal.com, and we'll be make sure they get a copy of the recording. Um, just wanted to say, just this morning I was doing a demo of the Surefire Local Cloud to this person, and one factor in the Surefire Local Cloud that they said is, you can actually look at your phone calls that you have received in terms of leads and see what kind of leads you are getting and how they are being handled. Every business owner I have talked to has said that does it by far the best thing to go into one login and being able to do everything. Don't want to steal your thunder, Chris, uh, go no. ahead. Um, okay, can you? Are we on the? Uh, can everybody see the blue screen here? One, yeah. two, three. Okay, good. All right, so let's um, uh, let's get started here. So we're going to talk about. Hey, we're making videos now, but how do we use our video to advertise our business and our services? Uh, so we're going to do a brief overview of what uh, YouTube offers, and uh, let's get going here. Okay, so click. Uh, we have a quick overview. Uh, we'll talk about some case studies, uh, how to how you can make these videos or video ads, and how you launch an ad. And uh, you know, ads. Uh, we we're talking about how long an ad should run. Um, it depends. It depends on the market you're in. It depends on what you are uh, talking about in that ad, uh, or I'll, I want to say video ad because it could be more testimonial. It could be a how-to, that's part of what the ad is. It doesn't have to be in-your-face advertising. Uh, it can be very subtle and, uh, you know, talking about marketing you as your business versus just saying, you know, uh, Bob's used cars, you know, buy a car, we have the best deals. So um, think about how you want to show your business and if you're going to get into the advertising online in video, how best you can show your business off. Uh, so what are video ads? Uh, you know, any video uploaded to YouTube can be an ad, as I just mentioned. Uh, the types of videos, and you, if you're watching YouTube, you've seen these. You have pre-roll video. Those per, uh, appear before other videos on YouTube. So if somebody's looking at, um, uh, let's see, the, the, daily, uh, the daily Show, right, there may be an ad running before that. Uh, or somebody has a video blog. Video blogs have to be monetized so those the people that make them can trying to make a living. So they rely on uh, pre-roll videos to show up before uh, their, ad, uh, their uh, videos play. Um, you can also have uh, ad words like text um, that show up below a video, but um, you, can have, you can have videos that show up uh, halfway through a video or at a set time. Um, a lot of people don't like those because it ruins the flow, but uh, it is an option of how you can add, uh, add your video ads in. So people always ask, what does it cost to advertise? Well, if you're doing AdWords now, you know um, that you have a budget and you can set that budget. If you're working with, uh, if you have an AdWords account and you work with an account manager or if you do it yourself, uh, you can say, I spent X amount a day uh, or over a month, what am I spending? But with, with video advertising, it's the same thing. You can control what your daily budget is. You can say, if I get to X, okay, don't go over it, and 
my video ads aren't going to run anymore during the day. The other nice thing uh, about video uh, ads is, and this is especially true with um, pre-roll, is you only pay when somebody engages with your ad. And if they skip it before 30 seconds or the end, you don't pay a cent. So a lot of pre-roll is usually five seconds long. So if somebody watches the first three seconds, right, and then clicks to go to watch the main video, right, you showed your ad, you showed something quickly, and then you, you know, you got off from having to pay. Um, the end of it is you do want somebody to get your whole message, and it's hard to get a message in in three seconds. But, you know, sometimes depending on thinking on about what you want to do with your video, how you want to grab their attention that, you know, really quick, especially if they are a habitual click-through person, right? They're not going to watch a video at all. But if it's somebody, if you can get your name to somebody, at least you're making an impression on them. All right. So who can you target? Uh, just like if you've used AdWords, uh, again, you have a variety of targeting options here with video. You can reach the right customer for your business. You can target by age, gender, location, interest, and other subcategory. So you can really, um, you know, target, you know, a niche that you're trying to reach. Um, folks, that, uh, you know, one of the things that's interesting, we mentioned Facebook before. Facebook has very good targeting that, you know, you can uh, really drill down. Uh, but you can, you know, you can really set the interests and, you know, people that are looking uh, home improvement, uh, males in a 30-mile radius from your business, and, you know, boom. You know, here is the demo, and, you know, this is who is going to see your ad. Hey, Sasha, if you have any questions, hop in, or if you have anything to add. No, I think uh, I'm glad you mentioned Facebook because uh, Facebook, uh, as you would know, and I just wanted to mention it for the benefit of our audiences, they have something called a lookalike audience. I thought that was one of the most masterpiece, uh, uh, brilliant things that Facebook could do is if you take a list of your possible clients or your best uh, clients, it has to be a slightly large list. They can actually anonymously target everybody who looks like the people you already have as customers. Like if you build a persona of your customer base, you know exactly how it looks. Like uh, uh, I know some of our uh, customers are excellent at targeting by zip code, great direct mail campaigns. When I pick up the Washington Post today, I get a lot of great ads that are targeted towards the audience that lives in my geographical region. And imagine if you could take that online and then say, do that, you know, customarily. So that's Facebook. And Google, we are actually a Google premier partner, Chris, as you know. And yeah. we are actually experimenting with a lot of uh, YouTube ads for our uh, customers because anything that's new, we get access to all the beta tests first. One exciting thing in the near future is when Google start introducing ads in their voice search. I hope people hear, because we are going to have another webinar on voice search. If you're interested in that webinar, please send us an email. You know, as you see, like our team is, really gets inspired when our audience sends emails. So we, uh, and Chris, I don't know if you, we've actually started uh, offering to our enterprise clients a voice platform that works on most of the, uh, uh, most of the platform. So, in short, like to your point, you have to be doing advertising because that's where the audience is. If the audience is already watching YouTube videos. Uh, I think everybody should raise hands and say, like, who in this uh, webinar does not watch YouTube videos? One interesting thing, yesterday my son sent me a playlist, and usually he sends me playlists with Lego videos. Yesterday the playlist he sent me was about a channel called Business Casual, and it talked about all the successful companies like PayPal and everything else. And imagine, this is an 11-year-old kid who's watching these videos and sending it to his dad. That's how much of an effect YouTube has. So I think you're spot on in, in talking to people and asking them to start with YouTube advertising. Yeah. The, uh, hey, Sa Sasha, maybe you can uh, answer this. Um, I, I, I know we're, we're not doing it with, with YouTube, but uh, Facebook does it about, uh, and I'm not sure if they're doing it with video. I know they do it with the regular ads about geo-targeting, you know, even very small areas, uh, like within, a, you know, a quarter mile of a restaurant to show ads. Are, 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 is video, is, are video ads being used that way uh, in Facebook? 
Yes, and uh, just to give you all a tip with that uh, is very competitive. If you are going to a trade show, you can actually target a Facebook ad. So everybody who attends the home show actually sees your ad if they log into Facebook. Because, and that's a secret, don't tell anybody else, please. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's How cool it is. That's a webinar in itself as well. <laughs> that's and, true. And quick, quick, uh, beverage update. I, I, my afternoon Cafe Americana iced uh, large has just showed up, so uh, I'm rolling now. <laughs> uh, and you can uh, you can send that over the internet to us, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Um, yes. So you know, you know, we're talking about. Um, did I go ahead one too far? Oh, uh, results. So. Right, you're targeting, and then you need to measure what you're what you're getting. Again, anything you do, A/B testing uh, with any type of advertising uh, on the internet. But if you're doing video ads, you want to measure this. Uh, there are built-in analytics to see how your ad performs. Uh, you can adjust ads. You can run multiple ads for A/B testing. Um, I always, you know, analytics, Google Analytics, and they they work really well. I mean, they can tell you a lot of information. And I always, I always think about uh, what Mel Karmazin, uh, the great ad man from uh, Infinity Radio, uh, said at one time. He said, you know, I know 50% of my advertising works. I just don't know which 50% it is. So, <laughs> you know, built analytics that you're getting from your ads or uh, uh, from AdWords is, is so uh, crucial in, in uh capturing your audience and increasing your uh, your business revenue. So what are we looking at with analytics, right? How many views you paid for, uh, where your ad was viewed, and more importantly, if, if there's a call to action, right, and, you know, clicks, um, you know, how many clicks are you getting? Uh, so it's, it's really, really uh, good to have this information. All right. Keep moving on here. So this is a URL. Um, you can take a look. If you go to the YouTube channel and look up, look up their advertising, uh, you can see the case studies. Uh, a bunch of different businesses are uh, are shown, and they they talk about how they're using video ads in their business. Uh, so I, I I ask people if you're really interested, go go look at a few of these and see how folks are are utilizing their advertising because it's it's really good to know what other folks are doing. So let's get into some of the meat of this here. Um, in one of the first slides that was up, uh, Sashi had uh, uh, YouTube Director. Uh, YouTube Director is an app, uh, and it allows you with your mobile phone to create a very polished video without, without a fee uh, on your phone. Right? It has all the tools and templates for you to produce a really sharp-looking ad. And, uh, you know... I say, I ask, I tell people, go download it, try it out, um, you know, try it at home with your family, you know, be goofy with it, uh, and then take it out into the real world and uh, and try it, you know, see if you can and you can put something together. And I guarantee you, within an hour or so, you, you're going to produce something that you're going to like. So give it a shot. We had uh, we had the national marketing manager of uh, Gutter Helmet also say that you know this has been a very useful tool for them and it's you know it's really those templates are really good because they're you know there's a lot of thought uh, and development that goes into those templates that you might spend weeks trying to come up with the you know the same ideas that those templates uh, are trying to convey to uh, you know for you to to tell the story that you want to tell in that video uh, okay um, so you're ready to make a video. You've got an app uh, downloaded, and, and you want to use it. So you know, here are some topics and questions you might find useful when introducing your business and things you want to talk about. Um, you know, talk about who you are. Uh, introduce yourself, your business. Uh, this is why if you have a tripod, you know, you can uh, just sort of frame, uh, frame yourself sitting down, have the camera uh, steady, and uh, just sit in front of your own camera and uh, talk about your business. Uh, let people know what you can do for them, right? This is talking about passion. If you if you have a business and you enjoy that business, you have a passion for it, right? Or you wouldn't be doing it. So what makes you different? What makes you better? Uh, give them reasons to choose your business. 
uh, you know, in the story that you're telling. And again, and this is going to be repetitive here a few different times, but come up with a way, um, you know, to have, if you already have a logo, use that, you know, you have a logo. If you, if you think your logo is a little iffy, you know, maybe have a new logo design. But what you want is a brand identity and then the contact information. You may be a service area business, so you may not have a street, but you have a, uh, a city or a town area that you operate in, or maybe multiple towns. Phone number, website if you have it, Facebook page if you have it, Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how can people find you and contact you? I get so many today with just a Facebook uh, messaging. Uh, that's how people contact me now. You know, they don't call me and they don't email me. So, you know, find different ways yeah. for people. What's that? That's how we got you. That's how we got you on the webinar. <laughs> that's right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, remember uh, when you're shooting, right? You want to make it personal. You want that story to be personal. And also, plan out what the ad's going to be. Again, you have a template, but prepare, write down what you want to talk about beforehand, rehearse a little bit, and that's going to be uh, helpful in the finished uh, product. So, you know, right, if you have the, um, if you have the uh, YouTube director app, right, as I mentioned, there's a template. Uh, you download the template that you want to use, you shoot, you edit, and then actually right through the app you can start advertising. Uh, it's going to upload the um, it's going to upload the video to YouTube for you. Now, Sashi mentioned something interesting in their uh, their cloud platform. Uh, it's Surefire Cloud. Now they're actually able to put videos up to 74 different search engines and uh, aggregators. That is awesome. Uh, but specifically, what we're talking about here is running the video as an ad versus having that story out there in all of the different uh, data aggregators. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if you're talking about if you're using AdWords and you have a AdWords, um, uh, if, if Surefire is doing your AdWords for you, talk to them about you know how to set up your video ad to get the most bang for the buck. They're they're experts in this in in targeting. So you can do it yourself, but you can also use the AdWord experts that you're already using. And no, Sasha, you have those, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, we'll be more than happy to connect uh, anyone who wants to talk to uh, one of the AdWords experts also. It's a, it's a free consult. They'll see if, uh, uh, they'll see what other campaigns you're doing and also recommend. But uh, Chris, you're being very modest. Like, uh, you've done this countless times. Uh, do you have a score of how many videos your company has created? Oh, I, you know, I, I used to work for the U.S. Army and did videos, and most of my videos uh, no one will ever see. So, um, and uh, for for obvious reasons, they're they're not for public uh, showing. But uh, you know, in the we're actually moving now into um, into a lot of 360 video. One of the reasons okay. we're doing that is I don't want to say it's easy to make videos now, but you know the the tools are out there for people to make their own videos. So we're moving into an area that's, we always move into areas that is difficult to do production in. Um, and 360 is sort of, we're seeing is going to be the next sweet spot to, to build in, uh, engaging content and uh, also VR work and uh, augmented reality. So because of tools like this, you know, it's sort of like, oh, okay, I got a really good uh, camera in my phone and I've got a tripod and I, I bought uh, you know, a little microphone, and I'm making videos, you know. 20 years ago, you know, that little video would have been, you know, a few thousand dollars to make. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, how, it's how life goes and business goes. So we're, we're always pushing what, uh, what we can do and, uh, you know, helping educate people on the, the tools that they can use to, to increase their business. Um, and, and for the folks that install new roofs, I don't think that's ever going to get easy, so you're safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we're talking about storytelling a little bit, um, introducing your business, uh, highlighting products, uh, creating promotions, right? You can say with a video that, you know, it's, it's winter time and we're having a promotion for this. It's a holiday. We're having a promotion for that. Uh, you know, a lot of times if estimates are free, talk about the, you know, coming out and doing those estimates and what you do to give somebody an estimate. And, and that goes into educating the customer as well. You know, I think the roof, I, I don't know, I, I know I have a roof over my head. That's about all I know about roofs. 
Um, so you know, if you're in, if you're in the roofing business and you're replacing roofs, you know, there's a lot of education that can go into uh, a video to educate uh, you know that that potential uh, client that you're going to have. When you talk about products and services, um, you know, an overview is one of the most important things to to have. Um, and also, you know, what makes that product or service stand out? If if there are ten people doing the same, providing the same service that you do, what makes yours stand out? You know, there can be all sorts of things. There can be um, all the little, uh, you know, accolades, uh, service industry awards. You know, think, those are things to talk about and think about. Saying, you know, we do a very good job. We have a wonderful reputation. Angie's list, if if that is part of your marketing. Um, you know, highly recommendations, even putting text in, you know, a screen that has text from a favorable review is good. Um, you know, start thinking about how you can convey the message uh, that your products and services stand out over somebody else. And again, I'm going to keep harping on this contact information. How do we contact you? Uh, how do we find you? And how do we talk to you? You know, that needs to be in the video. Um, Creating promotions in a video, uh, you want to make sure you have something that will capture interest, build excitement for the promotion, have some buzz about it. Uh, fill in details. Uh, don't forget to know uh, why people are excited. You know, th this is women's jewelry here, okay, entire collection 20% off. Um, are there certain times of year that you may have discounts because of seasonal or weather, things slow up? Um, is that something to target your ads towards, right? I can tell you right now, this is August. August are usually slow in the media business. I can tell you right now, we're blowing up. We have so much work right now. It's just the weirdest August that I've ever had. Um, so, you know, in my business, we don't, there's no reason for us to do any discounts. January, February, when it's frozen and outside is a, you know, a frozen tundra. That's a different, uh, you know, time of year. But, um, and we'll do promotions then. But, uh, you know, how do people participate in your promotion? Again, talking about how they contact you. Um, also, if you're naming a promotion, um, you know, I steal promotion names from all over, you know, uh, during the final four if we do something, or, you know, fall, spring, you know, uh, firecracker specials in July if there's something. You know, think about something that uh, will work for your business and tie into the season and the promotion. Um, teaching people about your business uh, helps build trust. Uh, I think we talked a little bit about earlier about uh, sort of getting to know your company. You know, you could do a video very easily. If you, if you do have a brick and mortar and you have a few people working for you, you know, a, a quick tour around the office talking to the staff and employees. You know, you have payroll maybe. You have the person on the phone that everybody talks to. Um, you have warranty uh, work claims. Uh, so introduce your employees to uh, your customers you already have and also potential customers, and it can go a long way. Uh, we talked about sort of the uh, engaging, uh, engaging customers, about uh, teaching them, uh, you know, the 101 here is, you know, what goes into replacing a roof? What do I need to know? Am I going to have to move out of my house? Uh, how many days does it take based on the square footage of the roof? It, you know, what are what are the things I need to know? Uh, you know, there's always a little insider tips on some of these pages. We talked about tripods. Tripod, a small, inexpensive, uh, Best Buy $10 tripod with a little phone holder goes so far instead of trying to hold um, hold your phone. One of the questions, and I thought you might ask this one, Sashi, is... Um, how do you want to shoot a profile or do you want to shoot landscape? Do do you ever get that question, uh, Sashi? You know, uh, I leave it to experts like you to answer because I always shoot a portrait, right? And now uh, Android phones are so and Google Photos are so intuitive that it doesn't matter which way you shoot. Would that be accurate, Chris? The um, well, let's talk. Let's real quick talk. You know, is it um. You know, whole portrait. I, I used to be a purist. If the if the video wasn't in landscape, you know, today 16:9, like your like a home flat screen TV, 
versus the mm -hmm. old two TVs, which was uh, four by three. Uh, you know, I always thought of landscape as, hey, this is the windshield of your car, right? You don't have a square yeah, yeah. windshield. You have a landscape windshield so you can see more. In the last few years with, with Instagram, uh, how Facebook displays video to start or in the window, we're seeing a square. Uh, and that could be, it could be a, a, a portrait, you know, holding your phone up. Um, so today, I don't know, it, it really comes down to how much editing you're going to do. You don't necessarily edit portrait videos, you know, scene after scene after scene, uh, where you would with like a landscape. So if you're just getting some testimonials that you want to play by themselves, you may just hold your phone in portrait mode and, and shoot you know, up and down, because then you might be putting that video on Facebook or on Instagram, uh, and they're short, right, really short, 30 seconds, about a, uh, a service that you offered and somebody was very happy with it. I sort of call it, you know, little micro reviews of your service that you can record, uh, and this is where we break the, the tripod rule, rule, you know, you can just sort of frame up your video very quickly with your, your mobile phone and shoot the... Uh, Again, if it's a homeowner with a roofing, uh, or if it is landscaping, or painting, or windows, you know, 30 seconds. You want a quick review, and you're done. Uh, longer form, landscape is, I'm, I'm still a purist, and I still stay with landscape. How's that sound? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that's good advice. Uh, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you, Chris, I know we are, uh, we are short of time, but this is great information. One thing I wanted to ask you is, there is a trend today that people actually watch videos in a silent mode. So that would you give everybody the advice that to always have uh, kind of subtitle their videos also, so that if people watch them in silent mode, you can they can still get the message. Um, you know that that is true, I, and you know I think about it. I do watch. You know, a lot of times I, I start watching the video and then I turn my phone to landscape and turn up the volume and and listen if I want to. So yeah, you want something, if, if something's engaging enough, you're probably going to turn on the volume at some point. Um, but you can also start talking about text, you know, that might be telling a little bit of that story along with an engaging picture. So say somebody's in a place where they can't turn the uh, audio up, they've got text there to sort of continue the story. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the one thing I will mention though, is um, audio quality over video quality all the time. If the picture is great and the audio is bad, um, you could turn down the audio, and if the picture is really good, you could just sort of get the idea. But if the um, uh, if the, if the audio if the audio is is great is good and the picture is bad and and someone's listening, the picture can be some you know poor quality, and as long as they can you can you're viewer can hear it okay, they're going to watch the video. So it's sort of with the rule that you, with, with what you just mentioned about having, uh, you know, listening in silent, that goes away a little bit, but if you're doing something a little bit longer, concentrate, listen to your audio, make sure uh, that audio is clear and crisp and uh, doesn't have a lot of, you know, background noise or city traffic noise behind any uh, narration that you might have. And also, if you're using a, uh, a bed of uh, music, right, in the background, make sure it's not, unless that's the main point of having music video, make sure it's not too loud also. <coughs> okay, real quick here, uh, launching video campaigns. Um, these are the steps that are part of the, uh, uh, of YouTube. This is going to... Uh, just walk through, and you can do this yourself with your YouTube account. Um, when you want to use the advertising, what you do is you select the video you want to use. Uh, you then customize the ad settings, uh, and then you launch the ad. If you're using a uh, marketing company to do that, like Surefire, they can help you through it. If you're doing it yourself and you have questions, uh, Google has, uh, YouTube has an 800 number you can call that they can help you uh, set up your video marketing campaign. Uh, nice little service they offer because they're trying to drive more engagement with video ads. Uh, these are just some screenshots of a campaign, how to set up your own. Uh, it, again, it walks you through doing this. Uh, 
the video ad, you search for the title or the URL of your video that you want to use. Now this is in your YouTube dashboard and we haven't really talked about, if you've never been in your YouTube dashboard, this is going to look a little foreign, but if you have a YouTube channel, this is all part of the dashboard that YouTube gives you to uh, manage, organize, even edit uh, your videos and also monetize your videos uh, with your YouTube account. So you select YouTube video, uh, I got the steps right here, you create the video ad, decide how much you're going to spend, choose a uh, target audience, and essentially then you hit go. Nobody and you, what's that? No, I think the uh, uh, the uh, ability for the YouTube one, uh, there is a YouTube uh, option that they have in a few cities that they're experimenting, where for $150, they'll actually shoot the video for you. Have you come across that, Chris? Um, yes, I actually tried to do that here in DC, and uh, we sort of set it up. We had a, a meeting and uh, never heard from them again. Um, have you have you heard any more about it or? No, we actually we are talking to Google and they said they'll send us some information on that which we can pass along to the audience. Okay, yeah, I know they've been doing it and trying it, but I haven't heard a lot about it, um, and I haven't paid much attention since I think the spring about that program. But uh, if we can put a link in notes later, or uh, people have questions, uh, we can send them a link to that program. Excellent idea. Okay, I think it's back to you here. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, so we're going to take another quick pause here and do another poll. Um, so as mentioned earlier, we're offering a digital marketing consultation for all attendees today and a free Google Chromecast, Chromecast for all who qualify. During a consult, we will sit down with you and review your current marketing plan and help you develop a new focused digital marketing plan to start seeing real results. Um, the marketing console is a one-on-one -on -one session where one of our marketing experts takes hard data gathered from hundreds of other companies just like yours to help see where you stand. Um, they will help you, they will be with you from the very beginning to help you get the marketing results you want. So please take a moment here to say yes to a digital console and also don't forget to ask about the demo for the Surefire Local Marketing Cloud during the console. And then after we finish up the poll here, we will get on to announcing the winner for the Google Home. And thank you to everyone who's been sending us links to their videos. Uh, I think it's very useful for us to see what small businesses are doing already with videos. So uh, even if you did not get a chance to send it, please send it to marketing at surefirelocal.com. And uh, if you... Uh, the easiest thing for you to get a demo of a cloud is to is to ask for a demo. One of our experts will not only show you the cloud but walk you through some recommendations, and uh, it'll it'll just be helpful to know from a, a expert's perspective about how your marketing is working, and uh, maybe we can collaborate. All right, thank you everyone for taking that poll. Um, so now we're going to announce the Google Home winner, and today's lucky recipient of the Google Home is Jeremiah Hill. Congrats, Jeremiah. Please email marketing at surefirelocal.com with your full mailing address, and we will ship that right off to you. Huge thanks to Shashi and Chris for joining us today, and thank you to all of our attendees. Please be sure to join us for more upcoming webinars. For details on our webinars, you can check out surefirelocal.com. We have a link at the top of our homepage for all of our webinars. Um, if you happen to be napping during our poll, I'll mention one last time that we're offering a Google Chromecast for all, for all who are qualified for digital consultation with us. So please be sure to email marketing at surefirelocal.com if you're interested. And also, if you want to send us your videos you know, after the webinar, we'd love to see them. Um, please take a minute to fill out the survey at the end and let us know how we did today and what topics we'd like to hear about in the future. Thanks again and have a great afternoon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Thanks for coming.